So it was a great day taking part in the children's workshop this afternoon. Uh, we had primary five children from St Dennis Primary, the local primary school, in attendance at the factory Impact Arts Base in the east end of Glasgow, led by singer Kathleen Turner. And we did a whole range from yodeling uh, with actions, songs about animals and songs from Africa um, asking for the rain to come. So it was brilliant fun. I think the children had an absolute ball. It was very noisy, which is good, um, and lots of laughter. Really great fun. It's an honour to be leading Impact Arts into its 25th year. Um, we've got a whole range of exciting plans ahead for the year, uh, culminating in a big arts auction in October. Uh, more plans to be announced. Um, we've got a series of exhibitions, events, fundraising activities. So it's going to be a year long celebration of all things Impact Arts. It's an absolute pleasure to welcome the Deputy First Minister to Impact Arts this afternoon. Uh, we were able to share with him all the work that we deliver with children and young people across Scotland that impacts on attainment and attendance at school. Um, really heartening to get his views on how important creativity is for those young people and how an alternative approach to learning is so important to some of those children. A, in terms of enthusing them about their learning, but also about impacting on their confidence, their resilience um, and their social and emotional well-being as well. At Impact Arts, it's our mission to tackle inequalities in Scotland through creative engagement. And we envisage a Scotland where everybody values and believes in the power of creativity to transform lives. The workshop at Impact Arts has been a fantastic amount of fun. I've had the great pleasure of working with St Dennis Primary School, who've clearly benefited enormously from the tuition that's been offered by uh, Impact Arts. And it's been just an afternoon of joy to sing with the children and to see the difference that this type of approach has made to their own confidence and their ability to, uh, to express themselves and to participate in this workshop. So it's been a really joyful afternoon. Impact Arts makes a really big contribution to the delivery of art therapy within our community and that can be done in such a whole variety of different ways. And what I'm impressed about is the way in which the delivery of the work of Impact Arts can lead to really unexpected results within young people. Can become, they can become more included in school, they can become better participants within school, it can help levels of personal self-confidence, it can help young people to overcome some of the barriers to learning that can then have a wider effect on their participation within the education system. But fundamentally, I think what Impact Arts does is act as a, a gathering point within the community to bring people together and to use art as a medium for expression, for cooperation, for development. And that's a really great strength for the organisation. And clearly this community benefits enormously as a result. It's really important that people of all ages have access to artistic participation and involvement. I'm struck in a range of different projects that I look at, to all ages, the individuals who become involved in artistic activity can often be helped to overcome some of the wider challenges they may face in their lives. And I'm quite struck, particularly individuals who may face some mental health challenges or may face uh, some challenges of loneliness or isolation in our society or may have barriers to learning, that they can be, they can overcome those barriers by an emphasis on artistic expression. So there's many, many strengths and attributes that can come from that artistic participation and it's something that I would very much encourage as part of the wider community development activities that we take forward. I loved delivering today's workshop with St Dennis's. They were a really fantastic class, really creative, enthusiastic, threw their whole selves into it, which was really important because today's workshop was all about imagination and they did a fantastic job. It was really great to see um, the children's reactions to the workshop, particularly at the end when we had a little bit of time to reflect and to think back on what we'd done. We worked on a number of different songs that used um, story um, to explore how we can use imaginations in music. And the children talked about um, the different ways that they could use that actually and take it further on. So they talked about how you could use music to uh, create plays, um, to uh, do artwork, based on the song, so they had lots of different ideas about how they could take the small amount of work that we did today and, uh, and make it translate much further, they were fantastic. The thing I've enjoyed most about Impact Arts is quite, it's quite difficult actually to put my hand on, on one thing, because it's been 
a really fabulous time. I've had the chance to um, see community arts impact on people's everyday lives in lots of different contexts, from Craft Cafe to some of the pilot programs that we ran in local schools. Um, and I think there's such a really there's there's a really special sense of um, connection between Impact Arts and the local community here. There's a really strong sense of ownership in terms of the work that you do, that it's um, a collective effort, um, and that people are putting their creative input into what what happens. Um, I think as a community arts organisation. It's a really inspiring place to work, a really inspiring place to be. And now that I'm back in my in my own permanent job in Ireland, I've taken all of those lessons from Impact Arts and they've impacted the way that I do my job, but also the way that I train other community music professionals as well. Community arts are crucial. They create a space for people to be expressive, for them to explore their emotions, to um, develop their abilities to make creative decisions, um, and that impacts on the way that we live our everyday lives. One, two, three, three.